Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a refrigerator clean with me and we are going to be deep cleaning and organizing my refrigerator. It was a much needed task on my to-do list so I'm hoping that you will get tons of cleaning motivation from this video and hopefully want to clean your own refrigerator after this. And today's video is also a collaboration with my friend Jessie Christine and she was actually one of the first YouTube moms that I became friends with when I started my channel and I am so grateful for her. I know you guys will love her and she's going to actually be cleaning her fridge out today too. So she might have some different ideas for you guys for organization and cleaning when it comes to the refrigerator. So you'll get double the motivation today. Make sure to go watch her video as soon as you get done watching mine. I'll have a link to her video in the description box so it's super easy to find and make sure you tell her that I sent you. So before we get started on the cleaning, I just wanted to show you guys what a mess my refrigerator is. It has been a while since I actually cleaned it out and I've been wanting to and I've been putting it off for so long, but I finally got the encouragement that I needed when me and Jesse decided that we were going to do a refrigerator clean out. I knew it was the perfect time for it and I knew it would get me motivated to actually get it filmed and cleaned out. So thank you Jesse, for motivating me. And I actually ended up filming this on a Monday because our trash comes on Tuesday. So I wanted to make sure that we didn't have a whole bunch of food and um, expired foods, things like that, in the trash can for a week. I wanted to make sure it was picked up the next day because we have raccoons that will get into our trash can. Y'all let me know if you have that same problem or if it's just me. So I decided to break this up into three sections when I was cleaning. I did the drawers and the shelves that were actually inside of the refrigerator first, and then I moved on to the drawers that were on the inside of the refrigerator door, and then I moved on to the freezer. So I hope that makes sense. But this made it a little bit easier for me to see what all food I had, and I checked all the expiration dates, threw away things that were expired or just almost to the bottom and needed to be thrown away anyways. And then I went through and cleaned the shelves and drawers and then reorganized them. To clean off the shelves and the inside of the refrigerator, I ended up using the Method Anti-Bat Cleaner. It's a multi-surface cleaner, so it can be used anywhere. And then I also pulled out all of my drawers and I actually washed them by hand because they had some stuff on the bottom of each drawer and it definitely needed it. So when Jesse and I were planning this collaboration, we were talking about how motivating cleaning videos are and how we wanted this one to be an extreme cleaning video, like give you guys the most motivation you could possibly have. And we thought about it and the way that we decided we would do that is we would give you guys a challenge and the challenge is going to be to clean out your own refrigerator. And if you want to accept this challenge, then definitely let us know in the comments below if you accept it. And then that way, when you get your cleaning done, you've finished your refrigerator, you can come back to the comments and let us know that you got it done. Or if you're over on Instagram, you can go and sh like take a picture of your fridge. You can either do before and afters, or you can just do the after, whatever you want to do, and tag us in your Instagram stories so that we can reshare on our own stories because I want my channel to be a community of women where we just celebrate each other, even those minimal little accomplishments such as cleaning out your kitchen. I want it to feel like a bunch of girlfriends can come to this channel and hang out in the comments and cheer each other on and then just celebrate each other. So definitely let us know if you accept the challenge of cleaning out your fridge or even if you've already done it recently before you even watch this video and you wanna let us know, that way we can cheer you guys on and tell you congrats for a job well done.
So to organize my fridge, I ended up going to Walmart and I got this two-tiered um, Lazy Susan. And then I also got a few of these Sterilite um, bins to go in the fridge. And you'll see how I use them in just a minute. But I really love this. I don't, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my fridge before. But I saw Lynette Yoder. She talks about the Lazy Susans and she uses them all the time. So I saw that she had it in her fridge. And I was like, that's such a good idea. And when I went to Walmart, they had the two-tiered stand. So I was like, hopefully this will work. But it does. I feel like it was so perfect in my refrigerator. I put a few of the dips below and then some of our like sour cream and jelly, things that would actually fit on top of that Lazy Susan up in the top. And then for this container, I decided to put all of my cheeses in there just because we use a lot of different types of cheeses. I love cheese. Y'all let me know if you love cheese too. <laughs> But I put that in there and it kind of works as a drawer, so you just slide it out. And I had to show you guys this clip of my leftover praline cheesecake for my birthday. It was so good. There's this little place called Baker's Pride and they ended up getting me this for my birthday. Cheesecake is my absolute favorite. So praline cheesecake is amazing. And then here I used the other little container to put some of the kids school lunch things in that bottom drawer just to keep it a little bit more organized. The next thing I did was I took all of our strawberries, cut them up and washed them, or washed them off and then cut them up and washed our grapes off, put them all into one container so that way it saved a little bit more room in the refrigerator. And now I'm moving on to the shelves that are on the inside of the refrigerator door. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm pulling everything out. I'm going to wipe down the shelves and then I'm going to reorganize it so that it's all visible where I can see everything. No matter where I hide, you got me sleep deprived. And the last spot that I did was the freezer and this was much needed and I'm so glad that I went through and did this because we had a lot of things that I didn't even realize that we had and I needed to go grocery shopping the next day and so I always do the Walmart grocery pickup in case you didn't know and um, so when I was making my grocery list I was able to take a few of the things off the list because we already had them in our freezer. And speaking of grocery shopping, I have decided to bring back some more grocery hauls and meal planning on my channel just because I've had a lot of requests for it lately and I used to do the monthly meal plans on my channel and then I kind of quit doing them just because they weren't getting a lot of views so I didn't think a lot of people wanted to see that but I've had so many requests lately for more recipes and cooking and um, just what we're eating type videos so I thought I would start doing those again and kind of show you guys and take you through the whole process of how I do my monthly meal planning and why it works for us why we do it and how we save money and all of that so definitely let me know if you want to see that but I do plan on filming this grocery haul so that you guys can see what we are going to be eating for the next few weeks
All right, and now that it is all finished, I'm gonna show you guys the final results, and I love the way it turned out, and you'll kinda of get to see what's in my fridge, so I always like seeing what people eat and everything too. Um, but on this first shelf, we pretty much have all of our liquids. We have our milk, coffee creamer, orange juice, and a few other little drinks that a friend brought over from small group. And then when you go to this next shelf, we have our little Lazy Susan. This is some salsa that my mother-in-law made. So we love having little dips and things, but I just put a few different jars up here on the Lazy Susan to make it easy to reach for when we're using them. And then that is some buffalo chicken dip and some hummus. And then we have our butter, mayo, and leftover pasta sauce. Then on the next shelf, I have our eggs, and then we have some boiled eggs, and there is my cheesecake. Then moving to the next shelf, we have our HelloFresh meal that we were actually cooking this night, so I had that still in there. And then in this little container, this is where I said I put all of my cheeses, and it's so perfect. I've already used this and just pull it all out and get to the cheese that I want to. And then in this drawer, this is our deli drawer, but we have like limes. I put our cut up limes in there and then we have our meats. So we've got some hot dogs, some bacon, sandwich meat, and then also some tomatoes and onions. In this next drawer, this is where we have our fruit and I have some watermelon here and then the grapes and strawberries that I put in that container earlier. The last drawer is the drawer that I have for all the kids' lunch stuff, and I did use this container just to keep things separated, but I have a Lunchable. We really need to go grocery shopping, y'all. We are so out of everything, but um, we have these little fruit cups, and I just like how this turned out because not only does it make it easy for when I'm packing lunches, but the kids can just reach in here and grab a snack if they want one. All right, and now we're moving on to the door, and at the top I keep all of our like cream cheese, and this is Chance's Philadelphia cream cheese that he puts on bagels, and then sliced cheese for sandwiches. Then moving down, we have different condiments and like chocolate syrup and sauces, our Parmesan cheese, things like that. And we have our hot sauce. We put hot sauce on everything, or at least I do, so we also have some hot sauce backups in the pantry. But the next shelf is just a bunch of other condiments. So we have like mayonnaise, or we have mustard and ketchup and more hot sauce. This Cholula is amazing. It's the green chilies kind. It's so good, or green peppers, whatever. But then we also have like soy sauce and um, vinegar, things like that. Then on this next shelf, we have our dressings and A1 sauce and barbecue sauce. Then the last shelf is for taller jars, so we have some wine, and we go through ketchup like crazy, so I always get the big thing of ketchup. Now moving on to the freezer, the top we have all of our meats, so we've got lots of different things in here like chicken, bacon, sausage, breakfast sausage, ground beef, um, and then also some mahi-mahi. Then on this next shelf, we have these Skinny Cow ice cream bars. Chance absolutely loves these. I love them too, but I always get them for him. And then some bread. And then moving to the next one, we have some corn dogs and more little ice cream. But this is like a low calorie ice cream. I've, um, we got it the other day for the first time and it's actually pretty good. It's mint chocolate chip. But then we also have some french fries and then some other little healthy meals right there and bagel bites. And then on this shelf we have Eggos and um, pancakes and then peanut butter and jelly Uncrustables. Then the whole bottom section of the freezer is for our vegetables and we have lots and lots of broccoli because we go through those like crazy. And then we even have some like sweet potatoes, mixed veggies. And then also a bag of, a few bags of the frozen blueberries for smoothies. 
and I know we didn't show a lot of vegetables but most of ours we get fresh or frozen and we definitely needed to go grocery shopping for some veggies. All right y'all, so I hope you enjoyed this refrigerator clean with me and that it gave you tons of cleaning motivation to get your own refrigerator cleaned out. Don't forget to go check out Jessie's video. Her link is in the description box and she's gonna be cleaning her refrigerator and organizing it as well. Let me know if you accept our challenge to get your kitchen refrigerator cleaned out. And if you're new, definitely subscribe and say hey in the comments and also click that thumbs up button before you leave. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.